In this video, we're gonna explore 15 of the best apps in Canva for designers. Let's get into it. So if you're new to playing around with the apps in Canva, there's a couple different ways that you can find them. The first is by going to Canva's homepage and over on the left-hand side, going down to apps. The second is maybe you've already got your design open, then you can go over to the object panel again on the left-hand side and go down to apps. So let's get right into it with app number 15, Type Extrude. Type Extrude is great for adding a 3D element to the text in your designs. So I'm gonna go over here to the app section and search for the app. And it's gonna look like this right here. We'll open that up. And let's just say we're going to add in our text here, 15 Canva apps for designers. We can also change our font. We get a preview down here and let's adjust the line height. We can adjust the border width. We can even adjust the angle and the length. That's really where all the magic is gonna happen right here. And then of course we can adjust the colors. And then once you're ready, click add to design. We'll scale this up here. Bada bing, bada boom, we're done. Number 14, let's keep it rolling. Next up is font frame, which is exactly what it sounds like. Add an image background to your text by uploading an image or selecting an image from your design. So let's open up a photo. Let's just say we wanna grab this photo of the ocean and we'll click use selected image and you can see it automatically places it within the text. We can scale the image up, and just like in the other app, we can also change the font. We can adjust more of the settings, and then when you're ready, click Add to Design. All right, next up, number 13 is mock-ups. Every designer loves a good mock-up, right? So let's go ahead and we'll open this up, and let's just imagine that we have a website that you've designed and you wanna promote that there's a lot of different options for you here. You could grab something like this, or if you're interested in playing with some of the video mockups, then you could grab one of these. So let's say we wanna use this one. I recently recorded a whole video about video mockups that you can check out. I'll leave the link in the description. Okay, so we've got our mockup here. I'm gonna change the background color. And now we'll add in the mockup. And when you hit play, it looks a little bit like this. All right, next up is number 12. So we're gonna search for Frame Maker right here. You can generate custom Canva frames easily. So you can either create your own by just going ahead and moving these points, or we could come down here and find a shape that we want to play with. So it doesn't look like you're able to add any new anchor points, but you can adjust what's already there. And then if you go to convert, it says that you can convert any design into a Canva frame with Frame Maker Pro. You can check it out with a free trial. So we'll add that to the design and then let's add in a photo. We'll just keep it with the ocean thing, right? All right, the next few apps that you're gonna see are gonna feel very familiar because they were a part of the old Canva photo editor. In fact, I recorded a few videos using these old apps that became obsolete once they got pulled, but now they're back. And those videos are relevant again, so you can go watch them. Okay, so number 11 is Liquify. Remember this one? Open this up, we'll click here, and let's start with adding a melting effect. All right, we can... Error, 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 error. One of the ways I've used this in the past was to actually distort and warp flattened text. So if you upload like a PNG of your text, then you can mess with these liquify settings to get some really cool effects. You could also use an app like Typecraft to distort and warp your text. There's a little bonus app for you. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, number 10. We're on number 10. Okay, let's go to screen. And I like this one because you can actually add like a halftone effect to your images. So let's click right here and we can change the amount, change the scale. Just a great way to add a little texture to your design. Okay, number nine. We're gonna search for bad TV, all right? And this will give us kind of that vintage VHS type of a vibe. We've got retro. Again, you can change all of these settings here. And even if you're not looking for a distorted type of a look, again, if we just zoom in, we're getting this really cool texture overlaid on top of the photo. All right, next up is Slice. This is cool because you can kind of make it look like your image has been cut out and scrambled up. Click on the image and click on torn. We can change the count, it's a little too much. We can change the offset so it's not so far away from center. And then we can reposition it. So maybe something like that looks pretty cool. And then we'll save it. Looks pretty dope. 
All right, number seven is Trippy, a futuristic psychedelic experience. Trippy is about happy accidents, an edgy look made to mimic the effect of a digital error. Digital error. All right, so let's click on our image again and let's try fluorite. Very TikTok-y. I could see this being like a really cool movie poster. Add some jitter, radiate. All right, let's see what radiate does. Shift amount, again, changing the jitter. And of course, one of the cool things that you can do is to start stacking some of these effects. So if we like this look, but we wanted to add in the slice, then we could go back here and it's gonna maintain what we just did. And we'll be able to add in this new effect. Number six, color mix. Ooh, that rhymed. Rainbow colored lenses, fun color palettes. So let's open that up and we can just start playing with stuff. So it's kind of like you could do some duo tone. Ooh, that's really cool. We can play with the saturation, right? So we're just starting to get some really cool effects here. Number five, we're gonna go with choppy croppy. No, it's not choppy crop. It's just choppy crop. This is a fun one because you can actually make it look like your design is cut out. So let's add in a photo here. Let's say we want to use this photo. And with this photo selected, we're just going to start cropping all the way around the subject. Crop it like it's hot. Crop it like it's hot. Here we go. We can scroll down and this is what the preview is going to look like. And let's add that to our design. And again, we're going to just start stacking different effects, right? So let's select this. Let's say that we wanted to add a shadow here. We'll change the blur amount, angle. All right, so if you did, imagine doing this like a couple different times, if you had a couple different images, you start to feel kind of like a collage, right? Hey, yo, Raji, what's going on, my dude? Hey, why you make me so small? Moving on to number four is mesh gradient. This is exactly what you would expect it to be, which is that you can make your own gradients. So you can change the colors, how you want them to mix. Let's say we want this to be maybe down here. And then if you click randomize position, it'll just kind of use the colors that you've got and it'll give you a bunch of different looks. And we'll add that to the design here. There we go. Number three is kind of similar to number one, text maker, but there's a lot more options. So we can click on see all, and let's say that we want this kind of like 3D bubbly look. And we'll say Canva apps, same kind of deal. We can adjust the line height. We can change the font and then we can play with the color, All right? So we add that to our design, looking a little something like that, pretty cool. And number two is Lottie files. These are SVGs that are customizable animations so you can make them fit with your brand colors. They've got free as well as premium. So let's just search for something like guitar under free and let's choose this one here and we'll click this little drop down arrow and you've got all of these palettes. Of course, you could create a new palette if you wanted to. I'm just gonna go with one that already exists and I'll add that to the design. And what's cool is that once we've added it to our design and we select it, we can still adjust the colors from the top toolbar. And number one, making its triumphant return back to Canva is Tracer. Tracer allows you to upload or select an image in your design and create an SVG, a scalable vector graphic so that you can make it as big as you want without it becoming pixelated. And you'll also be able to change the colors within Canva. So let's imagine that we want someone that's jumping to be our logo. So we'll do this here and we'll go back over to Tracer and we'll click Trace Selected Image. We can adjust the threshold. You may have to keep playing with the threshold until it has everything covered. And you can see we kind of missed some spots here. So we'll go back over here and let's do like 250 and that looks pretty good. So now we can scale this up, but we can also change the color. So there you have it, 15 of the best apps in Canva for designers. I hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to give this a like and subscribe if you want more content like this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.